Hello, I am Michelle Averard. Together with my husband, Nestor Kornblum, we are co-directors of the International Association of Sound Therapy. In the dome, which is a purposely built acoustic structure, we conduct our sound healing training seminars. During the past 20 years, I have worked with hundreds of people and have recorded several music CDs for meditation and healing. Recently, I published my book, 13 Steps to Free Your Healing Voice. I continue on this sacred sound journey, inspiring and being inspired by the people who are opening their hearts and minds to this work. When I give somebody a, a sound therapy treatment, for me, it is a very beautiful and intimate experience. Um, the sounds immediately help to envelop the person and um, allow them to, to journey out of their physical body so that they can experience themselves as pure vibration. Even if that experience only lasts a few seconds, I believe that, that in that time is when a healing can take place. We are trapped in our physical bodies with our emotions and our mental conditioning. And our whole physical body is a reflection of that mind state. And so when one is experiencing these beautiful sounds that are created by the monochord bed or the singing bowls or the tuning forks um, or any other instrument that, um, that I choose to or I feel is necessary in, in this therapy, in this practice. Um, they, are, they, they really are given that space to, to be able to feel a, a great freedom so it's, it's a wonderful experience being with people in that moment and then afterwards when they come they come back after the after the session and i say how well, how was it for you and they go wow that was wow that was amazing it's allowing allowing yourself to actually to fly to journey with the sounds that are enveloping you, that are surrounding you. Remembering that you are one with all source. Remembering that you are part of the great vibration that the whole world is made up of, that you are made up of. We are sound. We get to a certain age in life where we are conscious people and we're looking for clearer communication. And we find that although we mean well and we, we like and we, we know what we want to say, but at the point of having to say it, we are paralyzed emotionally and very often our words don't come out uh, as we intended. Um, this is a lot of the work that I do with people, is helping them really to, to clear up, uh, to clear those words that have been left unspoken, to be able to actually confront what they need to say in their life to the people they need to say it to. Very often they don't even have to address the people, they just have to really start with forgiving themselves, that they didn't allow the space, they didn't allow um, the time, they didn't respect themselves enough to be able to really communicate clearly. And that forgiving process, well, that opens up a whole kind of worms of, on a healing basis for all other things that need to be dealt with in their life. We are living in privileged times that allow us the possibility for change. We feel an urgent need to consciously work on ourselves, to change our mental and emotional programming from attitudes which no longer serve us.